from the Exports Network. This is the final score. Welcome to the final score. I'm AJ Good. Starting things off with high school baseball where Summertown and Loretto completed their series last night. The Mustangs and the Eagles were meeting up in Summertown on Tuesday night as the Mustangs were looking to sweep the regular season series and the Eagles were looking to split. Mustangs trying to take sole possession at the top spot of the district, trying for the sweep against the Eagles. Here in the top of the fourth, it's Carter Daniel. Going to send a sacrifice fly here into right. It's going to be deep enough to bring home Casey Springer, giving Loretto an early one to nothing lead. Next batter, it's Miles Moore at the plate. He crushes this one into right. It's going to get over the fence for a two run shot as Loretto now leads it three to nothing. We move ahead now to the top of the fifth, two on, and it's Springer. Lines is single here into center. Pair of runs will come on down. The scores of Mustangs now lead at five to nothing. Bottom of the fifth now, the Eagles are going to get on the board. It's Kane Kinney sending a sacrifice fly here into center. Deep enough to bring home Grayson Burleson, cutting the Loretto lead to 5-1. to one. Still on the bottom of the fifth, it's Jackson Bennett here at the plate. He's going to send this single here into center. That's going to bring home Zach Staggs, making it a 5-2 to two Loretto lead. Then Ryder Blackwood here at the plate. He's going to send a single here into left. That allows Aiden Perez to come on down and score. It's a Mustang advantage is cut to five to three. Top of the six here, Loretto going to answer. It's Jaden Aaron sending a sacrifice fly here into left. That allows another runner to score to make it six to three. Now if the base is loaded, the back pick attempt here. It's going to fly high going to left. Grant Fisher scores as Loretto now leads it seven to three. Bottom of the six in, two on here for Kenning. He lines a single here into left. Two runners come on down the score. Zach cuts the lead to seven to five. Two on again. This time it's Perez at the plate. He sends this shot here into the right center field gap. That one's going to go off the wall. One run is in. Stag's going to try to score from first, and he will to tie the game up at seven. Then Bennett here at the plate with a runner on third, one out, sends his ball into center. Deep enough to bring home Perez. That's all the Eagles would need as they go on to win this one, eight to seven. Now heading over to Lawrenceburg, where Lawrence County was on the road at Marshall County on Tuesday night, trying to sweep the regular season series. Wildcats going for the regular season sweep in Lewisburg on Tuesday night. Here in the top of the third, base is loaded for Alex Bedford. He sends this deep shot in the left center field. That gets over the fence for a grand slam. So Wildcats now lead it four to nothing. Still in the top of the third, Isaiah Bentley is going to try to steal home. Looks like he's out, but the umpire calls a balk, making it a five to nothing Lawrence County lead. In the top of the fourth here, two on for Cason Smith. He sends this deep shot here into center. Deep enough for a sacrifice fly to bring home A.J. Daniel. It's now a 6 to nothing Wildcat advantage. Jack Emerson at the plate and the freshman. Lines a single here into left. That's going to bring home Caden Short to make it 7 to nothing. Still in the top of the fourth, two on for Isaiah Bentley. He sends a no-doubter over the fence in left for a three-run shot as the Wildcats go on to win this one run rule style, 10 to nothing. And in Lawrence County, earlier on Tuesday afternoon, basketball star J.C. Scott signed her letter of intent. She will take her talents to Columbia State next season. Scott led the Lady Cats in points and rebounds this past year. She joins a Charger team that finished 7-21 last season. Coming up next, we head on over to high school softball to check in with Loretta in Summertown. Don't just find a job, find a career with Resource MFG. The team at Resource MFG in Lawrenceburg has the resources and experience to find you a full or part-time position right away. Now recruiting for open positions in Lawrence, Giles, and Murray counties. Whether you're entering the workforce for the first time or looking to take your career to the next level, let your journey begin with Resource MFG. Located at 300 Ellingson Street in Lawrenceburg, phone 931-570-2111 to jumpstart your career today. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. 
To save on fuel for work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. From the Exports Network, this is the final score. Welcome back to the final score. Now over to high school softball, where both Loretto and Summertown were at home at district play on Tuesday night. Starting first with the Lady Eagles as they were hosting Lewis County. Lady Eagles trying to complete the season sweep of Lewis County on Tuesday afternoon. Here in the bottom of the first, it's Caitlin Gillum. Here with a single in to left. That's going to score Mackenzie Reynolds from second. So Lady Eagles now lead this one one to nothing. Still in the bottom of the first, it's Olivia Woods here at the plate. Rips a single here into left. That's going to bring home Gillum from second, making it a two to nothing Summertown lead. Still on the bottom of the first, Hannah Jones rips this double here into left. That's going to bring home Woods. Is now the Lady Eagles leading it three to nothing. We move ahead here to the bottom of the second. Bases loaded for Jones. Sends a deep shot here into left. That is going to go off the wall. Two runs will come on down the scores. The Summertown advantage is now out to five to nothing. Still on the bottom of the second, Reagan Burleson here with a tapper to second. That would add another run to make it six to nothing. Bottom of the six now. Jones at the plate once again. A ground ball here to short. That's going to bring home Woods once again. All the Lady Eagles would need in this one is they take it seven to nothing. Now to the southern part of the county where Loretto was welcoming in Mount Pleasant. Lady Mustangs trying to take the season series from the Lady Tigers on Tuesday. Here in the bottom of the third, Macy Kate Livingston. Here with a single into center. That's going to bring home Brinlin Snyder to make it a one to nothing Loretto lead. Moving ahead now to the bottom of the fourth. Two on for J.B. Clifton. Rips a deep fly here into left. That's going to roll all the way to the wall. A pair of runs come on down the score. Clifton is going to turn this one into a triple to make it three to nothing. Still in the bottom of the fourth, it's Kirsten Randall. Rips a single here down the left field line. That brings home Clifton to make it four to nothing. Now in the bottom of the fifth, it's Mallory Corbett at the plate. Sends a single here into left. That's going to bring home Breeley winners from second. It's all Lady Mustangs from theirs. They take this one five to one. Coming up next, we head on over to college and pro baseball. The check-in with UNA and Ryan Weathers making another start for the Miami Marlins. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. 
Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931massage.com. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. From the Exports Network, this is the UNA Report. Presented by First Class Charter. Welcome back to the final score. Now over to college baseball where North Alabama was on the road on Tuesday night. They're heading over to Belmont as they are trying to continue the recent string of success. Lions taking on Belmont on Tuesday afternoon. In the top of the first, Lions going to get things started. It's Kyle Machado here with a single into center. That's going to bring home Garrick Fry. Make it a one to nothing Lion advantage. Moving ahead to the top of the second game tied at one. It's Layton Jenkins. He'll come on down and score off the wild pitch to make it two to one. Moving ahead now to the top of the fifth down, seven to two. Andon Johnson here with a deep fly into left just out of the reach of the left fielder. It's his third homer of the year to make it seven to three. Now to the top of the six, two on here for Andrew Knight. He sends this line drive into the right center field gap. That gets by the right fielder. Two runs would come on down the score. Knight would turn this into a triple to make it a 7-5 to five game. Now on the top of the seventh, down 10-5, to five, one on for Fry. He sends a deep shot here into right. That's going to get over the fence for his ninth homer of the year to make it 10-7. to seven. Now to the top of the eighth, down 14 to seven. It's Johnson at the plate again, and it's another deep fly here into left. Just misses hitting the scoreboard. His fourth of the season, second of the game, but the Lions would fall in this one, 15 to nine. Now over to the pro baseball side of things where Ryan Weathers got another start on Tuesday night for Miami as they were taking on the San Francisco Giants. Ryan Weathers looking for win number two on the season as they were hosting the San Francisco Giants. In the top of the first, Weathers gets Jung Hu Lee here swinging to end the inning. Moving ahead to the top of the second, it's going to get Michael Conforto here swinging to end the frame. In the top of the fourth, Weathers going to get Conforto again with a fastball on the outside corner. In the top of the fifth, this time Weathers. He's going to get Austin Slater here with a fastball on the inside corner. Top of the six. This time, Weathers, he's going to get Tom Murphy looking. Ryan Weathers would go six innings with a career-high 10 strikeouts as the Marlins go on to win this one 6-3. to three. That does it for the final score. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow night. From the Exports Network, this is the final score.